Hey everyone, it's Amy from Yo So Boho. Welcome back to another Thursday night video. Tonight we are doing some shopping on the store side of the same Goodwill that we shopped on the outlet bin side on Tuesday. I will link that video up here if you missed it, but come along and shop with us on the store side and I'll show you. What's the color today? Thank you. Hello, thank you. <laughs> what is that they say? A stranger is a friend you haven't met or something. That was a woman walking kind of towards me who gave us the color of the day. And I appreciated that. But then um, because she was walking that way, I realized we were going the wrong way. So <laughs> we had to switch aisles. And that put us over here in the figurines and things. There was some nice things on this shelf, and today they seem to be priced a little bit better than the last time we were here, although I think I only purchased one thing in this area. It was not these lusterware goats, <laughs> and it was not these uh, napkin rings either, although they were nice. There were six of them. They were marked a dollar a piece, so at six dollars, there's just not enough room there. I did like some of the hand vases that they had. This one was nice, but I just didn't see a quality there in the weight of them or even how they looked. So I passed. Oh, then my aunt found this. His name was Evergreen Ernie. <laughs> he was a cute cookie jar. She was kind of next to me looking at the Christmas stuff. And at this point, I'm like done with Christmas. So I was letting her just, you know, do Christmas. But I was showing her that that cheap little hand vase. What are those? They're candles, and you burn one every every year, every birthday. You burn it <laughs> till you're 21, I and guess. then you get you get drunk or married. <laughs> married. <laughs> married at 21. <laughs> of course, we had to look these up. They are not worth a ton of money. I thought they were super cool. They're made by Waxworks, um, but you can see here, new in the box, sold for 22.49. And the ones we saw didn't have boxes, so we just left them on the shelf. There were some interesting things down here. Another hand. And then these little habitats. These were made um, by the Franklin Mint. I believe it was a Jacqueline Smith. It said Jacqueline Smith. Woodland Surprises. These do not sell all that well. But I was curious about them because they were all the little habitats without their animals. So the one I just picked up said bluebird. Um, this one right here, I believe, says beaver. Yep, beaver. Um, I think there was one in the back there that said raccoon. And I don't know what that one was right there. But anyway, all of them have little critters. They were all missing. And they had the habitats right here marked for $3 a piece. I was showing my aunt at this point. Um, but they, the last ones that sold, sold on January 21st, and there was four critters with their habitats. They sold for $12.95 plus shipping. So this was a hard pass. Then I saw this glorious swan. I think I was seduced by his $4, which was half off because it's yellow day. And I didn't see any immediate chips. I believe it's Napco wear. And I'm a little upset because I first looked at it and I saw no breaks and I thought, oh, you can never find these things without broken petals. And then I realized that full leaves were missing. <laughs> so this was actually, you can see an area right here where some glue is, but there's no leaf. And there's another one too, I think. I think it's right here. There's supposed to be a leaf. So he's not perfect, but rather than being chipped, he's just missing a couple of leaves. I'm still going to put him on eBay. He just has a really nice look about him. And the fact that there's no broken, like evidence of brokenness is good. But I will, of course, you know, let people know that he is missing some of his pieces. But what a fancy little bird, right? Looking at some baskets. I'm always a sucker for these with the clasps and the metal. This one was really um, cheap though, very light. 
These are pretty awesome, although you can see this one was missing a lid. Liked the graphics on there. Then I saw this thing. I was kind of excited about it, but it was weird. You can see the lid there looked like it was falling off, but it's all one piece, and it was some sort of strange ceramic. I didn't even look at it any further. This is a regret. I think I should have bought this. This was a neat... Um, those are These are like a collapsible basket. This one had a nice mark on it. It says Designs by Enoch. Looks like this when it's open. Very unique. Probably should have grabbed it. Probably worth about $20-$25. I think they had six on it. And then I saw this. I think I was probably distracted by this. And this is everything. With the yellow. Now, if you've been watching my channel for a while, you know that I collect brown drip made by Hall Pottery. This is a Hall Pottery piece. I'm thrilled. This is in such great condition. It has this beautiful lid. It's a nice small one, maybe like a two quart. Um, I can see myself using this and that's exactly where it's gonna go into my collection because I don't have one like this. What was awesome is, you heard that lady, right? It was yellow day. So I only paid $2.50 for this piece, which is amazing. Now, if you find these, you will either see HP or you'll see Hall. And HP is Hall Pottery, of course. Um, but you, if you don't see either one of those, some of them don't have either one. They'll have this Oven Proof, um, usually Oven Proof in USA in that kind of scripty font. But that's how you can tell if it's a Hall above maybe a McCoy or a False Graph or any other brown drips that's out there. But yay, this was an awesome find. Anyone need some tennis balls? How about a whole bag? <laughs> like that mirror right there, but... I learned it was really cheap. Doesn't doesn't look cheap, but it is cheap. And so is this little pixie feller here. Um, just a made in China kind of cheap little box type thing. And then look at this piece. My goodness, couldn't miss this. I've never seen anything like this. You couldn't miss this on the shelf, right? <laughs> <laughs> it is it is loud, it is colorful, it is pretty awesome. It's made in Mexico, and it is called the Tree of Life. It actually holds candles, so two skinny candles, and it tells the story of the Garden of Eden. So there's a little Eve and a little Adam in there. You see Eve with their <laughs> with their leaves over their privates. And this is the serpent with the apple in his mouth. It's pretty cool. Now, there are several of these. If you go to eBay and you want to see something fantastic, there are huge ones with like, I want to say like a hundred of these little things that are poking out of it. This is small and, um, and not as fancy, but it's still pretty fancy. And I was so happy to find it. This is, I believe it was $5. I will put below what I what I paid for it. Um, again, I have listed these already on eBay, so I have washed, washed the, the price point off. Um, it should do pretty good. These do pretty good. So keep your eye out for these Tree of Life's. I did like this little chopper. I love this blue. It just reminds me of the 20s. And this was a cute piece. I think I did put this in my cart for a, a quick minute, but I think after really looking at it, it just didn't seem as quality and it's really grubby. So I'm not sure I was even up to the task of cleaning it um, the way it should really be cleaned. It was a simple but pretty little cup there. Uh, and then I find something on the top shelf. See, you gotta look high and look low. So this fooled me a little bit. It is not a handmade cigar box purse. It is a branded, this Bueno 
makes these purses. So this is fabricated. This isn't actually like a cigar box purse, but it's really nice. This is handwork, obviously. The beadwork is beautiful. She's beautiful. The fact that there's these really nice brass corner plates, the bamboo handle, it just has some great details. And I do have it listed on eBay, and I think somebody will scoop it up. Um, I'll show you down here what I paid for it and what I have it listed for. And I should get something close to that. Um, I'm pretty sure I already have a couple of watchers, so. There's a whole aisle in this Goodwill where it's broken down by color. And here we are in the blue section, checking out some blue things. It's a cute little Mexican piece there. Although it had Cancun or something written on it. And then Earth spied this on the bottom shelf. Is that a chamber pot? 12 bucks. 12? 12 bucks. I don't see any markings on it. No. I think that might be a chamber pot. It's what? You poop in it. Seriously? <laughs> no. I'm serious, dude. Call it a thunder mug. <laughs> Too funny. I think he was uh, glad he was wearing gloves. Although I, I told him it looked like it was a repro um, pot. It didn't look like it was vintage at all. But interesting nonetheless, and some of those can be worth money, but um, not that one. <laughs> now, when we just passed that blue section, I forgot that I did pick something up there. I must have gone back for it. I'm not sure how I missed this on my first go around past the blue section, but there were two of these beautiful pottery apple baking dishes. And that's what these are. I've seen these before and I don't think I ever stopped to look at them because I thought, what is that really big bowl with that tiny little thing to hold your ring? <laughs> it's not, it's not really that. It is, you stand an apple up on it and you bake it in the oven and who doesn't like a baked apple, right? I love that I have two. They're a little different. This one is definitely weighted. It's heavier. This one's lighter. You can almost see that in the way the size of it. It's thinner. Um, but they're both marked, hard to read on this one, easy to read here with this TB Pots. And I have found some comps. I will probably list these together. Will I list these? I think Earth and I might have to bake some apples first, and then I'll list them. Aren't these laser etched things cool? I always have to take a look at them. I don't buy them, but I think they're neat. And then smack dab in the middle of the red is a green candle. Now you can ask Earth or most anybody who knows me, I'm a candle burner. I love the smell of a candle and the just the flicker of the flame. I refuse to pay for big good candles. I just think they're way overpriced and I always always find them in my thrift stores. This is a big Yankee candle. I'm not sure what these usually go for, but a lot. <laughs> and I paid $4 for this big guy and he is an evergreen. He's perfect for the winter time. Um, just says fresh balsam fir and it's really good. Trust me, it's really good. <laughs> Moving on from the red section is a black section. I see some things here that I only now look up because of Gino. Thanks, Gino. These things, new in package, I feel like Gino would look them up. So that's what I do now. If you are not subscribed to my friend Gino's uh, YouTube channel, Gino's Finds, I'll share it on screen here. Please do that. He is such an amazing person and friend and has such a great channel. He makes me laugh. Um, tell him I sent you over there. <laughs> you will not regret it. I guarantee. I like some of these signs. Think deeply, speak gently, love much, laugh a lot, work hard. 
Give freely and be kind. That I love. This one here says, in wine there is truth. What is that? Um, in vino veritas? Isn't that like, you know, you speak the truth when you're drunk? <laughs> I like that little unique shaped lidded piece there. It's just kind of plain. I don't think there was anything else in this section that was all that fantastic. But what was great was I heard the cart rolling out and beelined back towards the back to find out if there was anything else that we needed. And I did find a couple of things. I like when the cart comes out. <laughs> Even when you're leaving, if the cart comes out, you run back to see what's on the cart. This was something that they were bringing out and it was new in a bag. Um, I don't think the bag was sealed, but it was inside a bag and it contained its little topper here, which I have not screwed on, but it is a sundial. It's a little turtle sundial and it's brass and pretty nice. It says made in Taiwan underneath it, but it just has a really great look. It has these gold, you know, brass features that are sticking out. And then this green, I love. It almost looks like, um, like a copper patina green. And, you know, really nice. This I already have listed on eBay. Again, I will share with you what I paid and what I listed. And, again, I have some watchers on this guy. So, <laughs> he was a good pickup. I also grabbed this girl. She is an October angel. She's kind of adorable. I am an October baby, so um, it was hard to pass her up. Even though she's not perfect, you you rarely find these perfect. Um, most of the time, they're they got a wing chip, or the wings have been repaired, or their foot is missing. <laughs> this girl has a chippy flower right there. You can see, um, but she's pretty cute. So. I couldn't pass her up and she was cheap enough that you know if she doesn't sell on eBay she can sit on my shelf for a while all right everybody that was the haul thanks so much for shopping with us today if you missed it don't forget go back to Tuesday's videos where we shot at the bins and shopped at the bins on the other side of the same store it was pretty cool I'm planning to do that more um, you'll be seeing that in the upcoming weeks so if you haven't, please subscribe to my channel. Hit that little alarm button so you know when I uh, post my new videos. Tuesdays, Thursdays, sometimes on the weekends. And also, leave me a little comment below. Hit that like button. So like, comment, subscribe, share out so that we can keep doing this. All those things help me and this channel tremendously. So I appreciate you watching. Please take care, and I will see you next week.